What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Liz. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. How y'all doing today? Your girl is doing great. So, I thought I'd come out today, which is Saturday morning, I mean, Saturday afternoon, and, hold on, okay, that's better, and give y'all a little bit of update on the holiday crew, and let y'all see everyone. Uh, the reason I didn't get to post anything yesterday is because it was raining harder than what it is today and it was wet it was colder than what it is today it's kind of cool now but you can be out here with a light jacket on or no sleeves just up to you uh, i'm standing up under the house as y'all can see of the um the flock just because it's it's a little bit of wet it's it's sprinkling so i don't really want to get out and um get my phone wet right now as i was talking to y'all but uh, this weekend here is significant because this is the first year since we bought Jazz, Billy, and Bam Bam. So they're all, tomorrow will make a year that we've had our goats that we started our herd. And I mean, they've come a long way, especially Jazz. I'm, I'm going to have to go back and get Jazz pictures and let y'all see her in the beginning and now. So I'll be linking, I'll be tagging them pictures in in the video so y'all can see. But, I mean, she, she did a 360, and I'm, I'm so glad, like, I'm glad to see that she was able to come back. And it looked like from death, really. I re really thought she was going to die, but we gave it a chance, and she turned out to be you know, healthy within a few weeks of getting her treatment and then to turn around and get pregnant, be able to birth the kid on her own, which I already know, you know, nature going to take its course. But a lot of the time, you know, they kind of have problems, but she didn't have no problems. And so now to see her flourishing, she's actually walking out around, just out strolling through the, um, the garden over there. I'll get her on film in a little bit, but just talking about her to see her, her whole 360 is, it's amazing. And I can't wait to see where the holiday crew goes to because, I mean, we're flourishing over here. And it's so wonderful to see all these animals coming up and, and getting better if they're sick and for reproducing and just bringing us something for us to have for food, for money-wise, and be able to say we are literally starting a farm here. So with that being said, let's get on into this video and check out on these animals and all that good all stuff. All right, I so with... I chickens, it's kind of wet in there. As my husband, he still got to come and um, tie, um, screw this down. So it, it, it has been screwed. But they got one, they got three eggs in there. And um, they look, they're, they look good for the most part. The egg production has been doing really good too. Sue's out searching for food. Um, the egg production has been doing really, really good. I uh, haven't really had any bad eggs. I know sometimes... I've only had these birds for a year, and um, May will be a year that I've had them. So, like, with that, no, no, I take that back. It'll be two years that I've had my birds. Last year made a year. It'll be two years that I've had my birds. So, you know, I still try to make sure that their eggs are okay in the beginning before I actually start selling or before I... Uh, um, before I cook them, I always make sure because sometimes you can have the the shell form and then you get in there and there ain't no yolk in there or as y'all can see, like the ground is saturated. Um, that's why I'm in my boots so I can walk out here and not get my feet wet. So my husband went out yesterday and I mean raked up a whole bunch of leaves as y'all can see. So they'll have something to eat on. Sapphire is in the back of the makeshift back there. Um, like I said, we do have the wood, so we're going to get the rest of the wood this week. And um, hopefully we can go on and start building and getting the frame put up. That would be nice. What's up, man? Hey, Billy. Um, Crystal is back here behind, behind the pile eating the leaves off the pile. What's up? They just out getting their grays on. Jazz, where you going, girl? Oh, man. I don't know what she's got going on. 
But as y'all can see, everyone's holding up well in this dreary, dreary weather that we have. can see jazz and princess they're doing good and this today actually makes a month that we've had crystal and sapphire and i mean fitting in just fine as if they were meant to be a part of the family so like i said they're taking crystal and um um bam bam Ah, oh, boy, I don't know how I forgot your name then. They've, they've taken a liking to each other. And that's what's up. So, hopefully, when she comes in the heat, because like I said, I am watching. I'm trying to keep track with it and um, make sure, you know, I pay attention to all the signs that could possibly let me know she's in heat. He hasn't started acting any type of way. It might be too early to tell, but I am watching because I do want these two to get together. Um, just because he's got a bigger frame than Billy. You know, Billy's small. And I, I think I'm going to put Billy back with Jazz. Or if I get another another um, breed that's his frame size. Because I don't want to put the goat where she can't handle. You know, something too big. I don't want to do that. Because it's just like with dogs. You know, you don't... You can't let a chihuahua breed with a bulldog, you know, and expect it to live. It just, I, I wouldn't want to do that because I don't know what my goat may or may not be able to, you know, deal with. So, hey, sassy. All these girls do is run around on this yard. But that's why I want to match them with the actual size that they need to be. So, because Crystal is taking a liking to Bam Bam and Bam Bam is taking a liking to her, I definitely think they would go good together. Plus, we we think, I'm not quite sure, um, if anyone knows how to actually determine a goat's breed, like if there's any DNA thing or something like that, please comment down below and let me know that I would be glad, gladly appreciated because I think she's the Sainine, a Sainine. Um, it's S-A-N-E-E-N. And um, she, she favors that goat. And so 
I'm not really sure if Bam Bam is that breed, but I mean, Crystal, she just, she really is a replica of some of the goats that I've seen on the websites that I've looked at. So if anyone knows how to actually determine a goat's breed, please let me know. Comment down below. Let your girl know because I'll, I'll be gladly appreciated. I really want to know, you know, how to determine their breed and that way I can keep up with it when I start breeding. So as y'all can see, it's just a dreary, dreary Saturday and there's not a lot going on. I did want to come out and give y'all a little update and, you know, check in with y'all and just say how much we appreciate y'all the subscribers out there boy we appreciate y'all i hope y'all are appreciating the content that we bring out and when you know you enjoy and getting to know us and we would love to get to know you as well and just be a part of the holiday family because we are growing and we are multiplying and the fact that last year we had three goats i can tell y'all this if you're new to this business and you're just now starting out I'm going to tell you this personally, what looked at like something that it could possibly be is becoming. And with that being said, if you feel like this is something you want to do, research and consider and get the understanding that you need. Because you just never know. This may be for you or this may not be for you. What's up, mama? Well, hello. I can tell y'all, she's doing so good, y'all. I mean, she's doing so good. She's blooming. She actually lets my husband come up and touch her now. And we got her loose just because... We, we, well, she's not necessarily loose because she's got that rope so we can catch her. But just the fact that she can walk around and graze. And Princess, she tends to run in and out the um, pen. So they kind of stick close. Sue likes to play with, with Princess... And I think they're going to be best friends on the farm. But she tries to stay a little close to mama because she don't really know Sue. And Sue's kind of a little skittish, too, of jazz. She don't really know what mommy's capable of. So it's exciting to see them, you know, learning each other. And that wind is picking up now. But like I said, we really appreciate y'all. And I hope y'all will continue to stay with us as we continue to grow and we continue to multiply on the holiday farm. Because as I said before, we are getting big and large. And that's the whole plan to continue to grow and to continue to grow with y'all. So in case y'all didn't know, because I feel like y'all didn't. But the holidays are on the way. 